Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, Mosquito. Yeah, that's right, my friends. This is the new gender-swapped version of my all-time favorite character, Mosquito as she appears in the new Netflix animated series. And it does look like mo Skitra. It's interesting the way that it's uh, spelled out there. In the show, I definitely think it was Mosquitera is the way it was being pronounced. Uh, but, you know, it was it's kind of a fun redesign. I was actually really excited to see what they were going to do with her in the show. She didn't have a huge part, but I do kind of like the look of it. I am very glad she's getting an action figure. Uh, it's always fun just getting new versions of one of my all-time favorite characters in action figure form. Um, so, anxious to check this figure out. Now, as you can see, she does come on that same style blister card packaging we've seen for all the figures in this line. Though we do have some new artwork of her up here in the corner uh, as she appears in that new series. And if we rotate to the back, we just have one shot of her showing that she has the power attack feature, which is the same feature that all the figures in this line has, but hers looks like it's the type where when you pull her back, she snaps forward, uh, I guess, to launch the thing off her face. I don't know. It looks like she, it's over her head. I don't know. It looks really weird. I'm not exactly sure what that is. We're definitely going to check it out. Tiny little cross up down here uh, just shows you a regular Skeletor, but also shows you the Triclops figure that is coming as well. So let's go ahead and get Mosquitera pulled out of the packaging and we'll get a closer look at her. All right, so here's Mosquitera outside of her packaging. Bringing in the tape measure, you can see that she stands a little over five inches tall, uh, about right exactly at five and a half inches. So really does kind of scale up with the vintage toy line, but also is perfectly in scale with the other figures in this Netflix lineup. So uh, obviously this is a very different take on my all-time favorite He-Man character, Mosquito. Uh, she didn't have a whole lot to do in the show, but I still thought she was fun. It was neat seeing sort of a different iteration of one of my characters so of course I was very excited to get the action figure so let's go and take a look at some of the things going on with her here first of all uh, obviously she's got the slender uh, female build there uh, making her a little taller and skinnier instead of like the big bulkiness that we see on characters like He-Man and Skeletor which makes perfect sense fits right in line with what we see in the series and while there is a lot of colors going on with her here I will say that there are some details that I find lacking that that makes this a bit of a disappointment. <laughs> and I'm going to be very nitpicky, obviously, because with Mosquito or Mosquito being a favorite of mine, I want to see it really, really done justice. But let's talk about some of the cool things first. I really like the pants here. I love the kind of striped look going on down the side of the pants, and I'm glad that they did paint the black and the white stripes going down the sides. I think that looks very nice against the red leggings that she's wearing there. She's got the knee-high black boots, and then you can see she's got some gold on her arms, which is uh, seen in the shoulder pads that she's wearing, and the forearms and gloves. It's sort of like a matte gold plastic. It's not really painted, I don't think. It looks like uh, maybe the hands and the shoulder pads are molded in that gold plastic. Well, it does look like we got some gold paint on the forearms over black molded arms there. And I really like the inclusion of the wings. Now, this is something that we've not really seen much with Mosquito before, but I've always seen people question why a character like Mosquito doesn't have wings. So they added wings for the design of Mosquito. I do like that they're kind of like a smoky red in color. And of course, these can articulate so they can move up and down. Uh, looks like they also pop out <laughs> quite easily there i wouldn't say quite easily um but they can be removed uh just by pulling the pegs out of the back there in case you want to actually take those off the figure but you can see they also fold down pretty nicely so the shape of her head is similar to what we've always seen with Mosquito, but as you can see, she is wearing a helmet and she does have a humanoid face underneath. A really interesting design element here where you can see her chin and her mouth sticking out from the bottom of the mask. Now, talking about the mask is where we're going to start talking about some of the things I am a bit disappointed in because you can probably see on here that there is a lot of sculpted detail on top of the mask. And unfortunately, they didn't paint 
any of it. Now, in the series, if you saw it, you would know that all of these little stripes that they've got molded into the design of the helmet were black. So these should all be painted black on there. And then there are also the two eye slits right there, which should also be painted black. So the fact that they just molded this in red and called it a day is very disappointing to me because it makes the overall helmet look so very lackluster without all of those details being painted in. And then that's going to bring me to the blood tubes or the energy tubes. She drains energy, which is always what Vintage Mosquito technically did too. Um, but in the show, I thought these looked really cool. And it was a really neat homage to the blood window that was on the Vintage Mosquito toy, where instead she had these big blood tubes sticking off where you could see the blood bubbling through or the energy bubbling through. And I really, really feel like this would have benefited from being molded in translucent red so that it would at least kind of mimic the blood look. I know it's too much to ask for a blood pumping feature on this particular toy line, although that would have been cool, but at the very least, I really think these should have been translucent. As it is, they just painted them red and honestly kind of poorly because there's still some black streaks on here and it really takes away from the coolness of those being blood tubes on her torso. So... Maybe I'm being nitpicky because it's one of my favorite characters, but I really feel like the lack of paint on her uh, really kind of makes her less impressive. She should have looked a lot cooler. Now, I know this is a basic figure line that was aimed for kids. It's on the much lower price point than things like Origins, so I know they're going to paint, lack paint details, but still, I can be disappointed, right? <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about the articulation real quick. The head just kind of looks left and right. I also do want to point out that the nose is very, very gummy on this. I assume that's one of those Mattel safety standards. They couldn't leave it pointy. However, because it's so gummy, you can see it's already drooping a little bit on my figure. I think over time it is going to droop while standing on your toy shelf. Uh, the arms can just move up and down. However, they don't move very far because her shoulder pads bang right into this tuft of fur that is on her back there. You can swivel the hands left and right. She has the uh, uh, torso joint that is gimmicked, which I'll show you in just a minute. And then the legs, they can go outwards, forwards, and backwards. And that is all the articulation we get. Of course, except for the wings uh, with Mosquitera. She does stand okay. You have to find just the right balance for her. She is a little top heavy because she's got the skinny legs. And she tends to lean forward a little bit too. So you really got to find the right way to keep her standing. So I talked about her feature. She has the power attack, which all of them do. But with her, it springs forward. So I guess it's supposed to be like she's stabbing you with her mosquito nose. Bzz, bzz. <laughs> but it also plays into her little accessory, uh, which is really weird. <laughs> so I don't know. All these weird energy effects are kind of strange in this line. So she comes with this red one. And as you can see, it's kind of shaped like her helmet. And it just kind of sits over the top of her helmet. And I think it's supposed to be like, oh, she's draining energy, so her helmet's glowing. Except, like we've seen with all these, they didn't mold this in translucent plastic. It's like most, I mean, it's not all the way solid, but it's definitely not see-through. And I think that's so weird. I don't know why they keep doing that, because now it just looks like this weird red glob sitting on top of her head. And it is worth noting, it doesn't clip on, it loosely sits on, because this is her gimmick. She throws it for some reason. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I think that's just something that Mattel decided to add on so that she's got some sort of uh, essentially a rocket firing missile for the kiddos. I could do without it. It's a bit weird. All right, guys, it's comparison time and we're going to do a mega comparison time because we're going to throw in vintage mosquito. We're going to throw in classics mosquito origins mosquito and the 2000 X Staction figure of mosquito. Just so you can see all of our different mosquito releases all together. And I think it's only fitting that we go ahead and uh, show her alongside Skeletor and He-Man, just so you can get a feel of what she looks like next to the rest of the figures in this lineup. So there you go, my friends. That is a look at Mosquitera, a really cool new take 
on Mosquitoor. So at the end of the day, I'm really glad she got a toy. I really am. It's another Mosquitoor to add to my collection. And I think it's really neat that they included such an obscure character in the show, especially since there's no horde in the show. She just kind of made her way in, which is kind of fun. I think that they could have done a lot more to make this figure stand out or make her cool. I'm crossing my fingers that she will get the deluxe treatment and actually be in the Masterverse line so she can get all the translucent parts and paint deco that she deserves. <laughs> so this figure is starting to show up in stock at places online. I was lucky enough to snag one, which means she should be hitting store shelves anytime soon. She's in the same wave with Triclops. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.